and welcome to the Nexus for our Knight Rider build. We are now on pack four of our Knight Rider build. This is what you get in pack four. So we're going to get issue 11, 12, 13, and 14. And obviously we'll be doing issue 11 today. Uh, these are all the parts that we get. So it looks like we get a uh, some covers here. Uh, some wheel arches, I should say, both of those. Uh, we've got some smaller bits here in this one and this is obviously the bottom of or the start of the chassis that's the one we're going to be doing in this is issue but that's what you get in pack four so let's get going and we're doing issue 11 of pack four let's do that Okay, here we go. So we've got the floor plan. This is uh, our big floor plan section, which is nice. So that's the under the seat for the car. So what we're gonna do first is do the central column. So we're gonna be attaching this, and it's gonna be like, uh, no, it, it goes around the other way. There we go, hang on. Um, is it that way? It is that way, yeah. Okay. And it's going to sit in here. It's a tight fit, that's for sure. And we're going to screw GM screws into these two sections here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, next we're going to be fitting the brake line guides, is what they call it. So we've got these two parts just here. So we're going to stick in one here, so one in this little socket here, and one in that little socket there. They're going to be facing inwards, like so, and there's going to be one there and one there. So that's what we're going to go ahead and put in now, and we're going to use GM screws to do that. Okay, so we've gone ahead and done that, that's how it should look, just like that. One there, one there. Now we're going to place the fuel filter just in there, we've got a guide pin into the smaller hole. Or does it go in the bigger one? It might go to the bigger one. And then we're going to use a BP screw to secure that in place. Just in there. So that's what I'm going to do now. And, uh, by the way, it does go into the smaller hole, the guide pin. I'm just going to hold it. Like so. Nice and easy. Just there. So that looks in, looking, oh, that's looking all right now. Now what we're going to do is bring over our chassis assembly, the front two wheels. So I'm going to grab that now. Okay, so we've now got our front assembly. We've now got this. This is the front of the car. So this is where this is going to sit. And it's going to sit just here, like so. And we're going to use EM screws, one in there, one in there, one in there, and one in there. And then we'll take a look at the end result. And there we have it, that is issue 11 done. So we now have the wheels attached to the, far, the, the front part of the chassis now. So this is like um, the cockpit. That's where obviously the two seats will go. Um, you know, the dashboard here and stuff like that. But there's a lot to still to do, but it's now coming together. So um, you'll need to find some place to put this as well, because it's going to start getting much, much bigger now. But uh, anyway, look, I, I'm loving the build at the minute. Um, if you want to build your own one, get yourself over to Fan Home. You can find the link to that in the bottom of this video in the description area. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to watch me continue to build kit, then click the subscribe button. But uh, that is it for issue 11. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you at the next video. Take it easy. Yeah. 